M as a baby and was dragging it in the street of Italy and other parts of Europe. It doesn't matter because I know those things doesn't touch me. You know, you are just being ignorant of who is Simon Ekpa, you know, and then you were misbehaving. So many people who were doing incantation with my name and all that, we even gave them followers in their platforms. When they, when they, when they blocked all their, all their, all their platform, we created and asked people to go and follow them. Therefore, I went and followed them. So if, if they have succeeded in uh, silencing Simon Ekpa today, where would they be? What is going to be their, they would, they would just realize now, ah, we did not know we would have just allowed that guy. But the point is that, you know, I came to this struggle prepared. I came to this struggle. When I mean prepared, I came prepared. And it's just that many people don't know. If you think you can bring Simon Ekpa down, you waste your time. You just disgrace yourself and Simon Ekpa will continue to stand very strong. When I joined this struggle, I did not join to romance Nigeria. I did not join this struggle to start looking at faces. I joined this struggle with Iwe and Onuma. I am telling you the fact, and I've said this several times, many people don't understand what is Iwe and Onuma. Iwe and Onuma is the highest degree of anger. That's why I joined this struggle with. And I did not come to romance Nigeria. I come that Nigeria will end. I come that they will end the Usman Danfodio legacy. That legacy that every time they will be talking about Usman Danfodio, you will think that Usman Danfodio, you know, manufactured a airplane. You will think that Usman Danfodio manufactured a car. Or oh, he invented one, uh, one, uh, you know, uh, Ihela machine or something like that. No. Usman Danfodio have a legacy for killing Northern Nigeria, for killing Aousas, conquering them and turn them into what you see today outside Fulani. That is the legacy that Usman Danfodio brought to Northern Nigeria. And today, they have Usman Danfodio University. They are using him as, that is what they, they continue that particular legacy. That is the reason why the Fulanis are killing innocent Christians in the Northern Nigeria and the Middle Belt. It is to continue the Usman Danfodio legacy. And I am here to end it. I will end it. The end of Usman Danfodio legacy will start from this year. Because he said... What I am telling you, go and mark it. It will start from December 2nd. Once we exit Nigeria, that legacy is gone. Completely gone. Because they will not have any other place to conquer. Is it us that you are going to cross our border to come and start saying you want to conquer Biafra? We did not conquer us when we were in Nigeria. It's not going to be possible. Another thing is that Biafras have seen that we have a map. That map has not been disputed by anybody. That is to show you how far we have gone. I'm still waiting for the uh, intellectuals, as our leader used to call them, to come and debate or dispute the, the map of Biafra. And we have our administrators, every person have voted in all these 40 states. It is not, nobody is disputing it. And that should be, and I know that that is what is actually worrying these people. Because how did this guy come up with map? I did not come up with any map. The people themselves were the one who have, you know, presented them their map to Biafra government and we did not impose any map on anybody. That is the good thing about consultation and, of course, using a true democratic process to liberate the people. That's what we have done. And that is exactly what the uh, multidimensional approach means. Exploring every approach, every possibilities from every context from every, uh, you know, from every solution that you can think of. And that's why we are using this multidimensional approach, the political approach, diplomatic approach, and arm struggle approach. When they hear arm struggle, ah, you want to carry arm against Nigeria, where are they today? When we started, all of you, when we started, where do you have the arms? Where is the money? What is happening today? And we are just started. That's why I told them, you can never defeat this army of Biafra. Never. Not in this generation. Not in generation to come. Not what Ojuku and the Biafra army did in the 67 we were doing. We have learned our lesson. We dictate how this war, the how we are going to fight you. And we are fighting you the way we want. And there is nothing you can do to change the tactics of this fight. That is one thing I trust about the Biafra Defense Forces. Gra well grounded in what we are doing. You know, when instruction is given, they know exactly what to do. So you can never defeat all this time around. 
we will fight you until even if it is one person that is remaining not from the Biafra side though, because we can never we can never remain it can never go bad that we are going to fight until we remain one never but you see nigeria terrorist forces we will fight them until they remain one and that one will be buried alive thank you very much Biafra will come you either allow us to go in peace or you are going to remain pieces and Biafra will still go and you see this thing we are asking now that you must recognize the Biafra referendum it is going to end in the round table when we, when the stupid and foolish ones have died in Biafra land because many of them many of those soldiers those terrorists they are sending they are going to die all of them in Biafra land you cannot just come to kill us and we we'll watch you and fold our arms to watch you kill our women and children it's not possible so you will die in Biafra and your spirit will never be alive to witness the round table discussion of how they are going to accept the referendum of Biafra and how Biafra will come. Because it is going to come and it is going to happen. Everything happening today will end up in a round table. And we have prepared for that. I am telling you. We have given an offer, very reasonable offer, engage Finland to come as a mediator. That offer is on the table. We have also offered them even flight ticket and hotel to come and be an observer for the Biafra's uh, convention in Finland. Since they say that Simon Ekpa is unreachable, it's an opportunity for them to come. That offer has been given. Is the reasonable? Is It shows that somebody is reasonable. And the only people that are reasonable is the Biafra government, not the Nigeria. Because they feel that they are untouched. They feel that they cannot talk to anybody. They feel that they can use gun and bullet to suppress us like they do to every other thing that tried to rise in Nigeria. And I'm telling them today that or the, with the gun and the barrels of the gun, you can never defeat us. The more you bring gun, the more stubborn and the more strong we become. I am telling you the fact. So you can never defeat us. But you see, after the foolish people have died, the remaining one will still come to the table and we are going to discuss the partition mm -hmm. of Nigeria and Biafra. Thank you very much. May God bless all of you in Europe. A woman again, Daluli and Umu Umife, Connessi Venezuela, and Edward Bona, Eastern News twenty four, Mombasin Catina, Boya, Morning Tea, Una Nugunu, Yabife, Bogolioca, Yabife, Maze, Simon Neba, Bobia from Prime Minister, or Biafran Public Government in Esai, Ediko Siduna Fukosia, Ada, Nira Hupo, a Geniki will equal Bastamaka Yabifenda, Nino Fugasi, Nira Hupo, the teacher. Uh, drop on here on the comment section below. Also, the pocket be a bobbin and carbo bosses guinea so you like need rock or in a four ya be on your new eye cabal okay like here and turn on no notification share where code the windows on munai the neighbor dt chaka that would in any bomb and again to okay now the line on you do your partner you know but okay miss you The Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic, government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba fumes over alleged killing of youths in Anambra community. Uh, let's go down to the full detail of the information. This is coming from the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic, government in exile, Mazi Simon Eba Wanjoko, Ohamadike Two of Ndiwo, Odogu, Anamanzunanya. Simon Eba uh, led Biafra Republic government in exile has condemned attacks and killings of Biafrans in Obaru community in Anambra state. Viral video had emerged over the week showing dead bodies of some youths with accompanying voice note claiming they were killed by security agencies. In a statement on Wednesday on Eba's official ex handle, he condemned the killings. A video posted by Eba, who is known as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, claimed that Nigeria's security forces poured gasoline on lifeless men and set them ablaze. According to him, the incident will not deter BRGIE from pursuing Biafra liberation. 
The nation has been thrown into mourning as the terrorists killed and slaughtered innocent Biafra citizens in Obaru and destroyed their homes. On behalf of the Biafra government, our condolences go to Biafra families in Obaru. Our objective firmly remains to achieve Biafra liberation despite the resistance of Nigeria and its institution within the Biafra territory. Nothing will deter the Biafra people's quest for freedom and Nigeria can never be allowed to become a heaven for terrorists. It is, its end has certainly come, he said. Meanwhile, as of the time of filing the report, the Nigerian army has yet, has yet to deny or confirm the alleged killing in Obaru community. Um, this is happening live in Obaru community. Of course, uh, e-security has become the order of the day in the nation, and um, it has become an everyday thing that we see uh, issue of insecurity um, all over uh, the place. And um, the government are yet to do something about this issue of insecurity because a lot of people are going down, youths are going down, and nobody is saying anything about these things. Let the government wake up. Let them wake up to the masses uh, because the first work, priority of the government is to pro uh, protect life and properties, to protect the people, but uh, that's that has been a different case uh, as regards this nation because uh, what you see every day is the issue of kidnap is the issue of ndimburu and the rest of them and um it's more or so that these things has has become a uh, business it has become a uh, business uh in the obodo it don't shall ask the members of the indigenous people of biafra calls for a uh, by by court of gubernatorial pool who say tela agala kuija the ipob members have called for by court of the gubernatorial pool uh, and i believe that uh, this will be uh, in anambra state because the next election that is upcoming now uh, is anambra state election and the members of the IPOB are calling for a boycott of that particular election. Remember that um, the IPOB, we are the people who put the present government into power. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you still remember, if you still remember, because the time Anambra State election took place was the height of the highest tension in Anambra State when people were not going out or coming in in Anambra State. And when he goes to that election, and because of um, Apoga, Ojuku's party, um, these people decided to lay low, that since it's um, Soludo, and since this is uh, Apoga, Ojuku's party, uh, that Apoga should be respected, and um, Ojuku himself should be respected. And the people respected Apoga, respected Ojuku, and um, uh, Soludo was voted into power after he promised that uh, if he is opportune to get into that power, that he will try his possible best to make sure that Amazin Nandekano is released from the DSS detention, of which you know that immediately after he was elected as Anambra state governor, he went to Abuja uh, to the DSS um, office. He visited Mazin and the Kano, they spoke, they took pictures, and that was that was what, what ended it because after the picture, we were expecting a proceeding. A proceeding. Uh, everybody was expecting that uh, with the power of Soludo as the governor of Anambra State, and having been favored by the same people who are fighting for secession, that he was going to do something better. And of course, you can see that um um the banish nuzo ga uzo dema aganya mbolo na abo the uzo of soludo. Uh, I'm throwing this question to my audience. Uzo a soludo gara or dema konodroma aga ozo. Is he going to uh, travel through this road again after all set and done? After all the promises? After making promises to the people? That when he becomes the governor, that um, practically whatever that is um, 
uh, overlaying in the Igbo will be settled. And this will also tell you that if Mazin Nandekano is released today, that um, that Ali Igbo will become better. If Kano is released today, Ali Igbo will become better. If uh, uh, Nam the Kano is released today, Ali Igbo will become better because the insecurity will go down. It will go down. The insecurity will go down. If if uh, Anambra State could be as cold as ice during Soludo's election, even in the height of all the tension and everything that was happening, it is also sure that if Kano is released today, that the tension in Anambra State, the tension in the southeastern part of Nigeria, that everything will fizzle away. I'm not talking about the kidnap and in the Saharas, the evil that is being done by uh, some secret agencies on the road, uh, the kidnap of the Fulani Hesmen and the rest of them. That one is a different issue because these ones are happening at the northern part of the country and the people who are doing that thing, they know themselves. Yes, they know themselves uh, because you can't tell me that a tree, a water, a river will pass through the forest without bringing down trees. No. Whenever a river passes through the forest, surely it must bring down trees because I don't know if you are getting my point now. So, the IPOB members are saying, let there be by court of uh, Anambra gubernatorial election. Of course, you know that uh, the government will use all their powers to make sure that that election stands. But, 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 I don't know whether it is going to be very chaotic. I think um, it is high time the government of the day start looking into the people. The people are the government. The people are the one that voted you people. The people are the government. The people should not be looked down on when it comes to go uh, governmental activities. What is bringing this issue of secession is it not because of marginalization that the people felt that they have been marginalized by the government of the day that their quota has not been provided? Of course, if you look at the, 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 the states in, in Nigeria, you find out that Southeast has only five or six states. Yes. Meanwhile, other regions, the other regions, the Northwest, the Northeast, and the, the, the Southwest, and the rest of them, you see the states that are there, and you see the allocation that is going to them. And the allocation that is going is coming to the southeast is P0. If you agree with me, you don't need, you don't need a sister to tell you that the allocation that is coming to the southeast is P0. It is P0 to compared to what is going to other parts, to the north, to the, to the west, and the rest of them. Because uh, some people has decided to marginalize other people and make sure that other people's future and destiny is being played with. And that is what we have been facing in the government of the day. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news is dropping, you'll be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Mama, mama. I think it is sweetest. What do you respect? So tell me, my girl, do this. The man, my son, do. Can I be the sweetest baby? Ah, some boy, some man, I used to be. I don't know who I am. My prime minister. You ask want to say something? Sweetly, sweetly. Hello, are you hearing me? Am I coming out clear? Yes, we can hear you. Right on, right on. All right. I want to also welcome our Prime Minister and his cabinet members in this good occasion today.
in the northern part. They are saying you are welcome, sir. You are welcome, sir. And I believe that joining today, coming and going, shall be well with you in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Anyakan Victor Thomas from the zoo, Lagos State, the deputy administrator. You are welcome, sir. On behalf of our men and our people, I thereby support this movement with 1,000 AJ in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, All right, welcome back, wonderful people. Is a new week, new Monday in the new month of September. I hope you are jollificating. I hope you are enjoying your month of September. Uh, it's a new month, and the month is still fresh and going. And I pray that you walk for I say that man, he go butter your bread. That man, he go see you through. That man, he go totter you. Uh, that man you go see you for all your heart desire uh, when we say the desire for this in Bamoto. Of course, you remember say we don't enter in Bamoto. <laughs> Live about we then na 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 as we talk with you. I uh, you know say very soon they go to count to November, December, November, uh, September, October, November, December. That's so they go, after they say they go to enter for 2025. I pray that everything will be say the desire for your heart, the Almighty God. Uh, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he go bring and to part for you. Make we go down to the full detail of the information, but before I go to bring you down one, if not the first time where we say the kind of body put for this channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news they drop, you go be the first one go to that and bam, you go ring for your phone, uh, you go ring for your computer. You go read for your lappy, your laptop, you go catch a WhatsApp. Because can you go for the full detail of what they happen for today in the land of the indigenous people of Yafara? Obodam Ramu, Obodon DK, Obodo of Ihoma. Anybody will say good thing, you know, go come for the land of the Biafra people. Now the Almighty God, and uh, I go show that person Pepe. Uh, because mm, you remember, say, if yourself, you they follow the Bible. Uh, God said that um, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so I surround his people. And the Umu Chineke, Umu Chuku, all the Bia friends, all of Funa Webi Seuna, they everywhere. Uh, all the people of Obodumu Chineke, all the children of Zion, I'm going to call Una for Zion. Uh, whenever you hear me call Zion, just know saying that the children of um, uh, Motherland, children of uh, Igbo, now they might call, the children of Zion. Uh, the Bible said, The moon shall not strike you by the day. Uh, not the sun by the night, as it they be. But meanwhile, don't shall it, uh, as IPOB don't declare war on top Anambra State Vigilante Group over alleged clean of members. <laughs> uh, this one, me, I don't know how he go take B. Uh, but the thing why they see here, uh, say some people don't make some other people verse. So <laughs> that verse, that they cost this guy thing because uh, where you make your brother verse, that your brother go to swear for you. They say IPOB that they don't the clear war on top of uh, Anambra Vigilante Group over alleged killing of their member. They say Anambra Vigilante Group gone kill one of their member. They say this thing they happen for so many for Newi South. They say the name of the person where we say they kill. They say name na Emeka Akubo. Akubo. Emeka Akubo. And at the name of the first web, you say now in the uh, Alambra State Vigilante go kill. And they say this person, a member of the IPOB member, will be now in the coordinator. They say now the guy be coordinator for that or so many Newi South. And um, the IPOB members, where they interview them, they ask them, they say, uh, why waiting be in a verse? Uh, they say the verse, we say this is their member. They say the man no carry ammo. They say he no carry gun. He no carry knife. He no even carry pen knife. You know that small pen knife. Uh, where they take cut orange the time where would they small? He gets one other knife. 
uh, if you grow for village, where did they get them for people where they build house? Uh, for that iron, where did they take bridge house? Uh, you go use and do your own penknife where you take the go school. That penknife, they say that man, you know, carry something like that. Oh, now in the uh, Alhambra State Villa, you see the man poof, poof, the man off. And I demand, uh, now the man die just like that. That IPO people says this one. Uh, they don't go there alive. See, as this uh, happened to their member, say they don't say they don't go take a bow. Say now eye for eye, now tooth for tooth, now ear for ear, now tongue for tongue. Now waiting those uh, IPOP members talk. Oh, now why they go declare war on top and Alhambra State Vigilante? Make I read you the info small, make you see that they be. They say that the spokesman of the group uh, will be saying, you know, now I'm a powerful and I they draw attention of the Alhambra State Governor Professor Charles Sukoma Soludo to. Alleged murder, and they said the man don't vow to avenge his death uh, if those behind the killing were not fished out. <laughs> First way they talk this one, I am a powerful and I am the spokesperson for the indigenous people of Biafra. He say, huh? Say the death of their member, that one avenge, avenge you. Say if the governor and the current report go to put out for governor, but it's threat. Save their member, where we say that in this, now in the Anambra State. Uh, Security go poof. They say that word, if they don't fish out the people, we do an revenge. Now you go come uh, waiting. Now you go come follow back. According to that powerful, they say Akubo say you know carry arm or Akubo was on arm and he did not do anything to those uh Anambra state vigilante we kill him. They say na no four, na just greediness. Uh, say uh, IPOB branch where we say they for that or assuming you know they grow and now uh, vigilante go poof that man. They say this fearless uh, f hero, that man, what do they call a Kubo, and a fearless hero, they say he no commit any crime or whatsoever. For murdering an innocent and armed IPOB member, they say the AVG don't murder sleep in Anambra State. And I, uh, in my powerful con, they talk, say, all the people where you say they're there for responsible for that disturbly act, they say they, mu they must be fished out and prosecuted for murder. Hmm. They say, failing which, oh, the consequences will be grave. Grave one, and that IPOB uh, in my powerful. They talk this one. Say if these people they are not fished out, say the consequences of waiting they do, it go be grave. Oh. Hmm. But to myself, I can't wonder how person go go keep person when no they arm. Now in my powerful verse, say all the field of where they fight, say no before one person or not for all the children of Biafras, may all of them come out. But I say they touch light for that one. Sorty way bad don't happen. No. Hmm. The same IPOB man don't talk out say he gets on secret detention centers where we say he day for he day for NIG where the NIG government they carry people go they detain them there. Oh. They say some of them self plenty people they happen there, plenty things they happen there. They, they accuse them say so they do all all guy arrest you know. so they do human trade though. Know. Make a carry you go for the uh, full detail of the information what you see that thing they happen because. Uh, the man is say that um, our people say that a uh, snake, uh, python where one person key see, or snake where one one person see, they say they turn to snake, but make no be only me, me go see and make a carry you go for that information. Remember, uh, if my first time where we say they touch down on this channel, uh, kindly go down, just subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification button do. I see the be. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has said it has uncovered secret detention centers where Nigerian security forces have allegedly been detaining and holding incommunicado some Biafra activists. Ose Tela. Hmm. <clears throat> the group explained that it wishes to alert the public about the secret detention facilities due to the horrible human rights abuses, maltreatment of innocent people, torture organ racketeering and forceful disappearance happening at the detention centers. <laughs> make I carry you go back. I, I want to carry you go back, make you hear a well well. Uh, because if I rush up, if you don't go here, they say, watch you. They say the group explained that it wishes to alert the public about the secret detention facility. So they say due to the horrible human rights abuses where they go inside there, yeah, I see the one who uh, human rights abuse where they go inside it. They say my treatment of innocent people, torture, organ racketeering, 
Ogara Ketiare. Ogara Ketiare. In the here that one. <laughs> These guys are talking that for inside a police facility that all this one they saw. Me we myself, I call Shona. I say, where they say for the Obodokwano? <laughs> if they say police carry you, I your people don't know where you did. They racket you for your own arm. They say you want to wear kidney. They say kidney. Say your arm. Say your tatadia. Who Nigeria? Why oh? Nigeria, bene, 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 bene. Who Nigeria? Bene, oh, they mess your garden, ma. You know, say uh, some people sing this song. Uh, make the praise Nigeria. Say Nigeria, go better. Nigeria, go better. But when my mama bought me, uh, when I did small, I remember when they, they buy fish for 25 naira. They even buy fish for, for 50 naira. They still buy fish for 150 before call they reach 200. That was time safe when you know they reach 200. Uh, people they complain, say, this not the high. I remember that time safe, liquor. And uh, for you to buy liquor, you go buy liquor 15 naira. Before liquor can climb to 20 naira, you let a liquor come because 25 naira. People they complain, say, this not hard, though. That time, no bass and your time. But as it be, uh, things don't change. If you want to buy all those boss mobile, there are four or five hundred. I go hold you. <laughs> Make we go back to the matter where we say, carry us come here. Eh? Remember, they say that they say, uh, I feel we talk say, get some secret places where we say there for this Niger and uh, for some police stations. They even call police station names. Uh, Make you don't say they really hide up. Uh, I go, I go still reach that place. I go down, go down, go down, yeah. Uh, make you not know, drink uh, wine when it tastes good. The good wine, they come. You go hear the food, it's uh, my, 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 I don't go be swan. I see the bee, they say what they do for that NIG detention. They say that my treatment of innocent people, they, they torture them. And the one way we enter my brain that that organ of KTR and our first food disappearance happened at the detention centers. Uh, make you see, they even mentioned the detention centers' name. They say some of the secret detention centers of alleged, alleged, as alleged by IPOB in the statement, its media and public secretary, Emma Powerful, include, he said, Wawa military base. <laughs> they list, you know, Wawa military days. No, we will talk about the information I read to you, uh, because the court said that we will talk all these things. The information will be said that Apple. We see the IPOB talk say that here and I did the tell people make you know what the app do make you know go to die yourself. They say what they say that our military base, they say the second one, they say na uh Kanji Dan detention center. Ha. Another one, and I just state barrack and prisons. This one are the third one. They say the fourth one, the DSS headquarters where they for Abuja. Uh, hey, this one shocked me. Oh. I don't know if it be true, if it not be true. Uh, because uh, information they need to investigate up because me i don't believe make you go the carry allegation they put on top of people uh this one ipob would i go also show how would i investigate she say this is the truth to right they happened let me say this kind of don't feel they happened though if it happened but uh, they need to know the exact place maybe people don't go with the misquote location they say dss headquarters where they for abuja Another one, the Intelligence Response Team, IRT, Abotua, Aboja, Osetela. Another one, they say that Tiger Base Police Detention, Owere, Imo State. Tiger Base Police Detention, Owere, Imo State. Uh, this Imo State one shocked me. Oh. <laughs> Another one, the Good Luck, Jonathan's Abbe Barakohofia, Abia State. Abia State. <laughs> Another one, the way they they say that the Zodai, oh boy, yeah. He be said that all boys, the police, uh, this thing, that prison is where they, now this thing, they happen, though. It shock you. It they shock me, too. Another one, that Abia State uh, Detention Center. Now, wow. Another one, this one, that for Adam Barao, they say that Zodai, oh boy, Adam Brown State, too. Who say, say, la. Now, for all the states, this thing, they happen. Uh, this thing, they shock me, oh. Another one na uh, on the army barracks, Anambra State. Ha uh, ha. They include others. They say other ones be a uh, navy base, uh, Ogbaru, Anambra State. They wrote another one, SAS, Akuzo, Obo, Anambra State. Ewo. 
82 division, Elugu military barracks, Elugu states, Osete la, <laughs> O bize, Ame barracks, O ere, Imo state, O, o yao. Another one where they mention, say, they say, a central police station headquarters, O mo O mo ya. Another one, na Abia state CID headquarters. Abia state CID. <laughs> Another one, na head, CID headquarters, Oka, Anambra state. <laughs> Another one, where they make sure that Fasaba, o, Asaba people, Una de here, eh, they say na, Nava base Asaba. What of the other people, Una follow, Una follow, they say that Delta state, and another one, when I enugu mazimon prison, enugu state, o se te la. Another one, apata court mazimon prison, river state. Ewo, aba prisons, aba state follow for the rest where IPOB put to. They constantly put aba kiliki prisons. Another one, be kwa ebony states. Ha ha. They still put uyo prisons akwa ibomo. Oh, where the prisons in most state follow kwa o kuje prisons abuja they put them KB prisons Suleja prisons Niger State and Nigeria Military Intelligence Detention Facility abuja they put that one too and I uh, mean I don't wonder how IPOB take decode all these infos where we say they happen for insiders and plenty plenty places now almost all the higher higher ABB detention centers now and then they here. Yeah. He said the arch people who relative are missing, you know, say make they go look for their people for these prisons where we say they call their names, say they say that there, it they happen. Uh, now they they talk about Ndibo are the highest ethnic group that are being detained with accusation of being either members of IPOB or ESN or framed as kidnappers by the notorious Nigeria police. Now they call them ODSS and Army. Ndibo have been profiled because of their ethnicity by the Nigerian government and hunted and detained across all illegal detention centers in Nigeria. <laughs> now, IPOB members, now they talk this one. But meanwhile, uh, uh, make a touch light one more story for you uh, because before I go, they go down. Another one story where I want to touch light be say Simon Epa, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in Neza, he said the man don't fume over alleged killing of youths in Anambra state. You know, say the other time for Anambra, uh, some Nigeria forces, they go do waiting no good for there. Uh, waiting no good there, they do be say, uh, they kill born, put a house down, now nah, then do a more. Uh, now in pass time, I say, this thing when I do, you know good though. <laughs> what I see they be, you know, the country where we day, even I say the issue of security, office security, and uh, they become very lucrative business for the country where we they. But by prayer, we say, you know, go be me, you know, go be my brother, you know, go be anybody where they related to me. But now, yeah, I go to wind that the cotton, and if that the first time where we say the carry body put for this wonderful channel, can kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification buttons so that you, whenever our news will enter, it will be the first thing we will collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.